Hello fellow steel mill modelers. This is my latest build. About four days worth of work. I took a old run roundhouse 26 foot ore gondola and cut the top completely off of it and then basically bashed this ladle car around the frame of the 26 foot ore car. Um, this I think the real car I think it works at Burns Harbor or uh, somewhere up there in Indiana. I think that's where Burns Harbor is or is that Chicago? I can't remember. But the, the real car, I modeled mine after another guy's. I, I liked uh, the, the wing design thing to hold the ladle. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, everything is completely scratch built or bashed. All the, Everything right here is just completely scratch built. It wasn't too hard. I uh, made the side frames first and then everything else afterwards. Uh, this ladle is actually a plastic shot glass. The paint's still fresh. I haven't weathered it yet. You pop the lid off. There's a the shot glass. It can still be used as a shot glass, but no big deal. That'll be sitting in there like that. I have uh, paint and decals and probably weathering and what have you. But the car turned out pretty good. It looks similar to the real car. This was my best attempt. It'll be tooling around my steel mill being pushed around. The ladle transfer car. It's kind of about bare to put on the tracks because the car is actually wider than the frame now. It's a lot wider. And can't get these big fat fingers under there to put the wheels and trucks on. Uh, I don't know what the heck is in the back. I have no idea if there's like airlines or I don't know what's back there. I have no idea. This is uh, strictly right out of my memory. So I'm sure it doesn't look like the real McCoy, but it's close enough for my railroad. This is a fun build. Like I said, it took four days to build this. It's working, you know, around uh, honeydews and what have you. Uh, it has KD number 158 whisker couplers, has uh, Accurel trucks, and Intermountain metal wheel sets. The ladders are from, I think, Chooch, and just regular two kinds of styrene sheet used to build this. I think it turned out pretty good. Be good enough for my railroad. But well, that's it. Just wanted to share this latest steel build. Hope you folks are modeling, having some modeling time instead of work. It's always nice to touch up on the hobby, get away from real life for a while. Anyway, I'm out. You guys have a good day.